Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Good Morning Preschool. I'm Miss Cindy, and I'm glad you joined me this morning. I'd like to say a special hello to Josiah in Chicago, and Evie down in Pittsburgh, and all my friends out in Oregon on the West Coast, and my little Cherub's friends here, too. I've been thinking about you guys lately. Hope I get to see you soon. Let's sing our good morning song. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with smiles on our faces, and this is the way to start a new day. Good morning. Let's see what we have on our number chart today. Our number today is a one and a nine. Do you know what number that is? That's 19. Let's see if we can count up to 19 together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right there. And what's after 19? 20. That's a big number, isn't it? So today our number is the number 19, and that's a pretty big number. We have a new letter today, too, and it's a hard letter. It's the letter Q. Q is kind of a difficult one to make. We kind of say sometimes, let's get our letter chart down. Oh, our sea animals, you guys have to come down here. What are we going to be talking about today? Come on, you can do it. Oh my goodness, there it is. All right, our letter is the letter Q. Oh, I'm going to fix that. Wow. Q, but let's do our alphabet together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? And here is our letter Q. It comes after the letter P. Here's Q, uppercase, and here's Q, the lowercase Q. Kind of looks like a backwards P, doesn't it? That makes this sound, qu, qu. You usually always find the letter Q with the letter U next to it. So that makes the qu sound. So there's the uppercase Q and the lowercase Q, and let's put our skywriters in the sky. You gotta make a circle, and then this little line here. That's a Q. It looks like an O with a little line there. And then the lowercase Q is a circle with a line on that side. Circle and a line on that side. And that makes a qu qu sound like a quilt and a queen. And I don't have many things in my Q bag. I do have a quilt. A quilt is like a blanket that you sew. It's very warm and cozy. So quilt begins with the letter Q. And I have one of my favorite animals. It's a quail with a little baby quail. Quail begins with the letter Q. And baby quails ride on their mama's tails. So that's the letter Q for quail and Q for quilt and Q for queen. Qua, 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 Q. I think it's time for a Bible story. Our Bible story today is about another very brave man from the Old Testament in the Bible. His name was Joshua, and he did a lot of things that God asked him to do. But this one was about Joshua and the big wall. God asked him to do something very special here, and it was a miracle. So let's read about Joshua and the big wall. Scoot up. Joshua was a man. God told Joshua what to do. Then Joshua told God's people. Jericho was a place. Jericho had houses in it, and Jericho had a big wall around it. The big wall had a door. Every day the Jericho people went in and out, in and out, in and out. Now, God wanted his people inside Jericho, but the Jericho people said no. The Jericho people shut their door tight.
and their wall was so big that it kept everybody out. God knew what to do. God told Joshua, and Joshua told God's people, Hornblowers, line up! Soldiers, line up! Don't talk until I tell you. But hornblowers, you get ready to blow your horns. Then away went the soldiers. Away went the hornblowers. Step, 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 step on their way to Jericho. Everybody walked. Nobody talked. But the hornblowers blew their horns. Do 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 do. They marched all the way around Jericho's big wall. Step, 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 step. Then they went home. The next day, they marched around again. Step, 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 step. Everybody walked. Nobody talked. But the hornblowers blew their horns. Do 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 do. The next day, guess what? They went again, and the next day, and the next, around and around, step, 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 step. Everybody walked. Nobody talked. But the hornblowers blew their horns. Do 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 do. And then Joshua said, Now! The hornblowers blew and the soldiers shouted. And Jericho's big wall fell down. Crash! Bang! God did it. Amazing. And God's people walked right into Jericho. And they didn't even need the door. What did we learn? Joshua obeyed. He did what God said. God's people obeyed. They did what Joshua said. Who should you obey? Hmm. What do you think? Obey. To obey means to listen and to do what someone says. I think that we should obey what God says. God knows what's very best for us. And when he tells us what to do, we should obey and do it. Who else should we obey? Hmm. I think you should obey your mom and your dad. God gave you a mom and a dad, and they know what's best for you, too. So you should obey what they say and do what they say. That's called being a good listener. Are you a good listener? I bet you are. Let's fold our hands and pray. Dear God, thank you that Joshua obeyed. And thank you that you give us your word so that we know what the right thing to do is. Help us to obey what you say and to obey what our moms and dads say, too. And thank you for loving us so much. Amen. Have you ever been to an aquarium? Aquariums are wonderful places. They're like zoos for sea creatures. There's all kinds of wonderful animals that are there that you can see. And maybe when this virus is over, we can all go to the aquarium. I know in Connecticut, we have a really nice aquarium called Mystic Seaport. And at Mystic, there are beluga whales that look like this. They're beautiful. And they also have penguins there, which are really neat to see. And I love the New England Aquarium in Boston. That's a beautiful place too. And I've been to the Newport Aquarium out in Oregon, which is a wonderful place. They have tide pools where you can walk on these sidewalks and look for sea stars and all kinds of sea anemones and wonderful things from the ocean. God created so many neat creatures that live in the ocean. I have some books about them. I have Baby Beluga. I have Bob and Shirley who are lobsters. We have lop lots of lobsters in New England. Here's dolphins. Dolphins like warmer water and they're very friendly. Here's a house for a hermit crab. We have lots of hermit crabs on the beaches around my place. Here's jellyfish. Jellyfish can be poisonous, so we don't want to touch them, but they're very cool to look at. And here is a seahorse. And this is the story I'm going to read today. This is a really neat book. It's called One Lonely Seahorse. But all of the animals in this book are ocean animals, but they're also made out of vegetables and mushrooms. So let's see 
read about One Lonely Seahorse. This is by Saxton Freeman and Zeus Elfers, and their artwork is beautiful. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Beneath the ocean deep and wide, one lonely drifting seahorse cried, In all the cold and salty sea, I'm all alone. There's only me. If you look closely, it's made out of a vegetable. Her name was Bee, and Bee was blue, and as she cried, her sadness grew. Poor Bee. We'll be your friends. You're not alone, called two small crabs by a big round stone. There's two crabs. They're made out of mushrooms. Three puffer fish came from behind. We'll join you too, if you don't mind. <laughs> Four lobsters down below called, Hey, you're our pal too. Come on, let's play. And the lobsters are made out of ginger. Five turtles circled B to say, Can we help out in any way? What are those turtles made out of? Pineapples. Six playful dolphins then arrived. Hey, B, they called. Let's leap and dive. Bananas. Seven eels said, what a shock. You are so unhappy. We should talk. There's our eggplants. An octopus said, we're here too. All eight of us have hugs for you. Boy, B is finding some nice friends in the ocean. Nine mackerel came swimming by. You feel lonely. Tell us why. What good friends they're being. A school of angelfish appeared. Ten little voices laughed and cheered. Yay for B! You are my friend, said B. That's true. And I can always count on you. Look at all the friends she had. And they're all made out of summer fruits and vegetables. What a neat story. The ocean's full of all kinds of things. Thank you, B. I hope you get to go to the aquarium sometime soon. It's a wonderful place where you can see all kinds of creatures that God made. Very neat. Today I thought we'd count some fish. I have some pretty cool little fish right here. And I thought we'd drop them in our fish bowl and see if we can count them. So how about we start with two fish. One. Two plus one fish. So if we add two fish plus one fish, how many fish do you see? One, two, three. And that looks like this. Two fish plus one fish equals three fish. All right, let's do another one. Come here, fishies. If we have two fish, one, two, two fish plus two more fish, one, two, that equals four fish, one, two, three, four. So that looks like this, two fish plus two fish equals four fish. You guys are good counters. Let's do one more. Come here, fishies. All right, so if we have two fish, one, two, they look like Nemo. And we add three more fish to our bowl. One, two, and a dory. Three. Come here, guys. Come up front. So two fish plus three fish equals one two, three, four, five fish. And that looks like this. Two fish plus three fish equals five fish. Good counting today. Hi fishies. Give me some more friends. So if we have five fish, we'll add another one. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 
seven, eight, nine, ten fish in our fishbowl. Pretty cool. Ah. Today I thought we'd sing Mr. Sun. Do you know that song? Let's sing it together. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine? Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? It's a beautiful sunny day here today. How about we sing My God is so big. Scrunch yourself up in a little ball. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing song. I love that one. Make your caterpillar. I'm seeing more butterflies outside. They're beautiful. I'm a caterpillar. Crawl with me. I'm a caterpillar. Crawl with me. I'm a caterpillar. Crawl with me. Crawl with me, my darling. And then what happens to the caterpillar? He wraps himself up into a cocoon or a chrysalis. And then something else happens. Let's sing about that. I'm a cocoon now. What'll I be? I'm a cocoon now, what'll I be? I'm a cocoon now, what'll I be? What'll I be, my darling? And what happens? Oh, a butterfly comes out. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. Fly with me, my darling. I love springtime. Oh, we got to sing our goodbye song together. Let's do that. Well, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. We sang and we played and we had a great day. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Nice to be with you today. I hope you have a very beautiful day. Thanks for stopping by.